Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 6 of the chapter Electrochemistry. In part 5, I discussed the Nernst equation. In this video, we are going to solve a few problems based on the Nernst equation. Not wasting any time, let us come straight to it. This is the solved example of your textbook, example 3.1. I'll explain this first. The question is, represent the cell in which the following reaction takes place. The cellular, that is the chemical reaction is given to you. Magnesium reacts with 2 moles of silver ions or silver salt and the concentration of that silver salt is 0 0.0001 moles per liter or that's the molarity. It gives you magnesium ion and the uh, concentration of this magnesium, the salt of the magnesium ion is 0 0.130 moles per liter plus silver which gets turns into a solid. You have to calculate the EMF of this cell. If E0 cell, that is the standard uh, electrode potential or the standard EMF of the cell is given to you, which is 3.17 volts. So E0 cell is given to us and let us first represent the cell. You have to represent the cell in which the following reaction takes place. In cell representation, you always write the anode reaction to the left and the cathode reaction to the right, if you remember. So what is getting oxidized? Anode is that electrode at which oxidation occurs. And we know magnesium is getting converted into Mg2 positive by losing electrons. And loss of electrons is oxidation. Therefore, magnesium is getting oxidized. So we'll write magnesium on this side. So magnesium, which is a solid, is getting, and then a slash, it is getting converted into Mg2 positive. And the concentration is 0 0.130 moles or molarity. And then make the salt bridge in between and write the cathodic reaction. That is the silver ions Ag positive and the concentration of Ag positive is 0 0.0001 mole against Ag solid. When you represent the cell, you do not write down the stoichiometry is not what we are uh, concerned about. We just write the species that is oxidized and the species that is reduced. And what is the concentration of the salt solutions? So this was the representation of the cell. So now according to Nernst equation, what would E cell be? E cell is said to be E cell is equal to E naught cell minus RT upon NF log, that is LN, concentration of the substance, the oxidized part, that is Mg2 positive, upon the concentration of the silver ion Ag positive. But since the number of electrons lost should be equal to the number of electrons gained, when you're writing the Nernst equation, the number of electrons uh, that have been gained and lost to make it equal, we have to write the square of this or the stoichiometric coefficient here would be, you will raise it to the power of its stoichiometric coefficient. Having done this, now let us uh, substitute the values of we have E0 cell which is given to us here and if you substitute the values of R, T and F assuming T to be 298 Kelvin and turning ln into natural log that is log to the base 10. We get the value that is you will be multiplying rt upon f into 2.303 and if you uh, multiply all these and uh, substitute their values and get the value you will get 0 0.059. So let us now substitute the values of e0 cell rt f and bring log to the base 10. So e0 cell would be now e cell then when you calculate it would be equal to E0 cell which is 3.17 volts minus RT upon F ln would be 0 0.059 volts upon N. What is the value of N? How many electrons are being transferred? Two electrons. So N is two and into the concentration of magnesium ions is 0 0.130 moles per liter upon the concentration of Ag positive ion is 0 0.0001 moles. So you write the square of this. 
and molars, this will get cancelled. Right, so electrode potential would be in uh, volts now. And when you calculate this, this would be equal to 3.17 volts minus, when you solve all of this, what you get, sorry, it's not into, you write log here. It is now, the LN has been converted into log, right? Log 0 0.130 upon this. And when you solve this, you get 0 0.059 volts upon 2 log, yeah, these value, and it is 3.17 volt minus 0 0.21 volts. 0 0.21 volts. So when you solve all of this, this will come to 0 0.21 volts. And subtract this amount, what does it come to? 2.96. 2.96 volts is the EMF of the cell. Right? So this was the first solved example. Let us now do two in-text questions in order to understand Nernst's equation better. Give me a moment to write down the question. Now this is question 3.4. It is the in-text question after the topic of Nernst equation. The question is, you have to calculate the potential of hydrogen electrode in contact with a solution whose pH is 10. We know that we use the standard hydrogen electrode as the standard and we've given it the value of 0 volts. So E0 cell or E0 for the hydrogen electrode would be equal to 0. So let us first write, this is something we already know, E0 cell or in the case of hydrogen electrode, what's the reaction that is taking place? H positive is getting converted into half H2, right, is equal to 0. Then we've been given not the concentration but the pH of the solution. And this is just a little trick that has been added. Why? Because what is the definition of pH? pH is the minus log pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, right? So if the pH is 10, what does it mean? That the minus log of 10 is the pH and minus log 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. So what would hydrogen ion concentration be? Hydrogen ion concentration is minus log 10 or you could say it is uh, what is minus log 10 minus log 10 is uh, 10 to the power minus 10 moles per liter the hydrogen ion concentration from this you can calculate to be 10 to the power of minus 10 moles per liter so a pH of 10 means that the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 since it is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration the negative log of 10 to the power minus 10 would be 10 right the minus log of 10 to the power minus 10 would be uh, 10 therefore the hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the power minus 10 moles per liter so you have to calculate the potential in order to which means that you have to calculate e cell the potential of the cell would be e cell right and we know e naught cell already so let us use the Nernst equation Nernst's equation tells us that E cell, sorry, E cell, oh, E cell is equal to E naught cell minus RT upon NF LN 1 upon H positive, right? So E naught cell is already given to us as 0 and RT upon F and n is 1. So this will be 0 0.059 volts upon 1 because n is 1 and this becomes log 1 upon what is the hydrogen ion concentration? It is 10 to the power minus 10 moles per liter. Right? So and this would be 1 mole per liter or its concentration is taken as 1. So we do not take the uh, Kc does not have any units and basically we are writing Kc here. So we have 1 upon 10 to the power minus 10. Now when you solve this, this becomes equal to 0 0.059 volts. Now log of 10 to the power, 1 upon 10 to the power minus 10 would be log of 10 to the power 10, right? Which is 10. So which is equal to 0 0.059 volts into 10. 
which is equal to 0 0.59 volts. So this is the E cell or the potential of hydrogen electrode, right? So this was question 3.4. Let me now solve one more question before we, uh, before I wrap up this video. All right. So now this is question 3.5, your in-text question. It is very similar to the solved example that we did. You have, to do, you have to calculate the EMF of the cell in which the following reaction takes place. Nickel combining with silver ions to give you nickel ions and silver solid is given out. And the concentrations of the silver ions, that is the silver salt and the nickel salt are given to you. And the, electrode, the standard electrode potential or the standard EMF of the cell is given. Now, we have to write the, let us first write the expression for the cell, although it has done, you ju you're just asked to calculate the EMF. Yet, let us take the step of writing the expression of the cell. We always write the anode to the left and the cathode to the right. So what is getting oxidized? Nickel is getting oxidized. So we'll write that part first. Ni solid against Ni2 positive. Its concentration is 0 0.160 moles per liter of molarity. And along the salt bridge, you have silver ions, Ag positive. The concentration is 0 0.002 moles per liter against Ag solid, right? And now you are expected to calculate the EMF of the cell. An E0 cell is given to you. We know according to Nernst equation, E cell is equal to E0 cell minus RT upon NF LN Q. I'm deliberately writing Q here. Actually, I'm writing Q here so that I uh, can come to the same conclusion that we'll actually only be writing the, the uh, concentrations of the ions. And uh, here again, to reinforce the concept that Kc or Q, Kc is the uh, equilibrium uh, constant. But here, this is the reaction quotient. Why? Because equilibrium constant is calculated by writing down the concentrations of a solution which have already, uh, which are already present at equilibrium. While QC is nothing but the same expression where the concentrations are not at equilibrium or they are in the state that have been given here. So let us and if you substitute the values of R, T, F and Ln, that is multiplied by 2.303 to convert it into log, you will uh, get 0 0.059 volts. And the value of N here again, nickel is losing two electrons and silver, you need two atoms of silver in order to, silver ions, which, uh, which lose the electron in order, sorry, which gain the electron in order to get reduced to silver metal. So, uh, the value of N here will be 2. Let us calculate E cell from this. E cell would be equal to E0 cell, substitute the value 1.05 volts minus 0 0.059 volts upon N, which is 2, log, now Ln becomes log, and now I'm deliberately writing Q. What are the products of the reaction? The concentration of Ni2 positive into the concentration of Ag to the power of 2 upon which is solid again solid and Ni solid into Ag positive square. Now do you see Ag solid and Ni solid would have the values of 1. The concentrations of pure solids is 1. Therefore we do not consider this. And what you get is again the Nernst equation as we uh, study it or as you would commonly be uh, talking about as. Yet this concept should always be clear to you that it is related to the reaction quotient. So E cell, I'll rewrite it now. If I had ignored this and just written the Nernst equation, the E cell would have been equal to 1.05 volts minus 0 0.059 volts upon 2 log of nickel concentration, Ni2 positive concentration is 0 
and again the moles per liter moles per liter will get cancelled therefore we will not write the unit here and the concentration of silver ions is 0 0.002 and the square of this right so now this would be equal to when you solve this this comes out to be equal to I've just solved this here let me uh, write down the values so this would be 1.05 minus 0 0.02955 log and when you solve this you'll get 0 0.16 upon 0 0.000004 right which is equal to 1.05 minus 0 0.02955 log bring this up so this becomes 4 into 10 to the power 4 when you divide the 16 4 4 are 16 and when you handle the uh, zeros you get 4 into 10 to the power 4 so this becomes equal to 1.05 minus 0 0.02955 and separate this this becomes log 10 to the power 4 is 10,000 and since it is into, it will be a plus log of 4. So which would be equal to 1.05 minus 0 0.02955. Log of 10,000 is 4. And log of 4 is 0 0.6021. So 0 0.6021, when you solve all of this, you get... 0 0.914 volts would be your answer right so this was question 3 point the in-text question 3.5 with this i'll wrap up today's video if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry thank you for watching and bye bye for now